just a small video. It'll be very windy, so I'm not going to do a lot of talking, but Red Knoll's right over there in the distance. Right over there, this is um, some of the fields following the River Parrot. Um, I'm not quite sure where Paulette has gone. I've got a feeling it might be over there and that this river curves in and out and round. I haven't got the map out yet to have a look. There's Cummage over there. Of course I wanted to try and get on Cummage, get to Cummage on the other side once. But I have done that church, see that church there? I've been in there. I can't remember what it's called, but I've done that church. I've walked all round the small village of Cummage, down by its um, harbour. There's the, like I said, it's the River Parrot Walk. I've seen quite a few people there walking that side. I've only I've passed one man with a dog and a man, retired man and woman, going the opposite way to me. a big loop, they said, from, from Pollock. Now I thought Pollock was over there. stretches with gates in between. I think it's a bit of a casualty of it. I might be so dear. So that's the village of Cummage. Once a very busy port as well. Um, some interesting buildings. It almost it always reminds me of somewhere like in um, Austria or Switzerland or something. Something in the Alps. Um, I don't know something like pretty about it. It's a pretty little house there, look. To be a nice pub right close to the river, which I've got a feeling might have been there. They've turned it into residential. But there used to be a real old pub, proper Somerset pub. There is still another pub in the village, but um, it's mainly a food hole. Um, the uh, proper pubs are the scrumpy pubs, the spit and sawdust pubs are going. Right, so once upon a time, two or three years ago, I was on the other side of the river. I never quite got to Cambridge. On the other side, that was my plan. Then I was going to get the bus back, you see. Now in a minute, this river will obviously take me to Bridgewater. I can see a car over there. There's obviously a road around here. And that car there, that probably leads you back into um, the village of um, I don't know what you want to call it. Over there. Because I'm sure I can see uh, the White Tower Church. There. Somewhere around there. I'm sure I can. Where's it gone? Because it's white, it don't show up very well. I'm sure it's next. It's somewhere around there. Puritan Hill over there. Um, obviously, Cummage there. And then you've got um, Cannington, you know, Nether Stowey, all that, leading out onto the Quantox. On a really good day, you would be able to um, see a lot clearer where everything was. I mean, at the moment, I didn't feel that... I don't think West Hunts was right back there and Pollock's right over there. Over there. That's where I reckon it is. At the end of my stick, that church. 
and obviously they've walked around. There's a car there, so there is a way to walk back to the village. Once you start walking, you just want to keep going. It's like, I want to think, oh, I just want to keep going, but you know, because look, there's evidence of cows in the past in the autumn before they all came here. Um, it's just going to be impossible to do this lovely walk without going in field after field of cows as far as I know. It's such a shame really. Um, yeah, if you followed that route there, you would come back into Pollock. There we are, then we've got the village over there. No sign of the old, I think the old pub was, it's now residential, but that was the pub. I'll just zoom in. I've been in there with Jerry and some other friends of mine. That used to be the old pub there. That was an old pub with a lovely garden at the back. longer. Now I think there's some other sort of place. Now what's that place there? Let's just zoom in there. What's that? That looks like something. The Anchor Inn. Yeah, maybe that was it then. The Anchor Inn. You never know, it could still be a pub there then. And maybe that's it. I knew it was somewhere close. Right, over and out.